What's up guys, we're back here on Modern Warfare and they finally released the CX-9. Now this has been teased a little bit in Warzone as ground loot a few months ago, but it's been officially released. So today we're gonna be getting it Damascus. Now the challenge to unlock the CX-9 is you need to get two long shots and five games, but in Modern Warfare you can back out of games once you get your long shots. So what I did was I, I played hardcore shoot the ship and every time I got shoot house, I just went right into middle, got my two long shots, backed out and did it again. And if you wanna do it as well, here's the MP7 class I use just for long shots. It's really easy and hardcore. You really don't even need anything for it but all right so here's the class i'm using cx9 is my primary i got the dual swords as my secondary i'm probably gonna work on those at some point here and i have double time ghost and spotter didn't know what to do for the third perk so i just threw on spotter throwing knife because it's sick and our stim so if you guys are new here what we do is we go ahead and show you my first reactions to the gun my first time using it in game then i grind it all the way to damascus showing you the highlights from that and then i'll show you my last game and giving you all the feedback on the weapon that i have from using it all the way to help the gold camo so let's hop in to shoot the ship and see how it does in core also gonna throw on a double weapon xp this is what it looks like in game so far so good it looks nice it's a little like short barreled smg it had a nice inspect on it where you got to see the mag and we're already going down but so far it seems like it has a decent time to kill i only really have two kills so not much being said there Ooh, that killed pretty fast, but 20 bullets is not a whole lot for SMG, especially base mag. You really want to be looking for 30 rounds in your base mag. That way, you know, the, the later magazines have more ammo. So it's not looking like this is going to be a very ammo heavy weapon, but we did end up getting a camo there. Like I had no idea we're even here. And it's been a minute since I've gotten a gun Damascus. I keep needing to come back and get things done, but the second I do, uh, like zombies content drops or Cold War content drops, but that first game ended pretty quick. I'll hop into another one. All right, we got a game on shipment. This will be a true test of how, oh my God, I already died. But I was gonna say, this is a true test of how the weapon will do. If this weapon cannot compete on shipment, one of the fastest paced maps that should be very good for SMGs, I, I'm not sure how well the gun's gonna do. But also take this all with a grain assault i have not played modern warfare in a bit so i'm probably not the craziest at it and so far it's looking decent it's time to kill it actually really fast like way faster than i thought it was going to be the only problem i i think i'm gonna be running into is not having enough ammo so hopefully we can get an extended mag here soon because it takes i'm seeing about like 10 7 to 11 bullets to kill and which is half of our base mag so it's getting one kill backing up reloading and trying again right there that was only nine bullets Okay, so we did end up killing two people with one mag there. Definitely possible. Oh, almost hit him with the throwing knife. That was so close. Ooh, and we're getting camos like crazy. Ooh, that's a nice double. And our teammate saved us with a rocket there. Ooh, and the throwing knife. Nice range on it, too. I mean, it's sh it's, sh it's shipment, so not crazy range, but this gun's looking nice, honestly. I, I feel like the, the ammo is for our own sake. Like, it only having 20 bullets in this, if it had more, it'd be crazy. So I'm excited to see what this is like with a, with a mag on it, and I'm pretty sure in Warzone, I've seen it with a drum mag on it, so this thing could be really deadly. But look at that. It's very consistent at range. Dude, get the fuck out of my way. Ooh. Oh, let's go. Quick feed. Who else? Oh, come on. I know there's more. Oh, we hit the throwing knife too. Oh, that was a nice little play. I actually, I like this gun a lot. This is fun. All right, I, I need to get one more feed like that. I forget how fun shipment is. Who wants to bring me some cheeks? This guy. And him. Never mind, he had a shotgun. That's the one thing that's outgunning me right now. I feel like I can out, I can, at most ranges, I feel like I can contest an AR with this. The only thing I'm not contesting is a shotgun. There we go, another camo and another kill. Oh, come on. Once this thing gets a higher mag, it's done. There's gonna be nothing but crazy streaks for me. Ooh, that was almost another one. See, honestly, I grind most of my weapons in hardcore. I think it's a lot faster, it's a lot easier. But this is a gun I feel like can dominate in core alone. Like if a gun is this overpowered, just take the extra health and play it in core. Especially if I'm getting shipment. All right, this is for all the marbles. Oh, we're going in. Quick triple. Keep feeding me. Please, please keep feeding me. Oh, no, my mouse isn't working. Unplug it. No, stop wasting my ammo. Plug it back in. Can I move it now? Okay, I can. Oh, we had such a good streak and then my mouse came unplugged. Oh, let's go. We hit the bank shot on the knife too. Oh, 69 kills. Shout out sex. All right. We lost this one, but we did end up coming out with 71 kills in core with this gun. Now, granted, I am a hardcore player, but this gun far and away surpassed my expectations. And this is only my second game with it. So I'm going to go ahead, grind it all the way to Damascus, and I'll see you guys when we get it.
All right, I'm back. And as you can see from that last clip, I did end up getting the CX-9 Damascus. So let's go ahead and put it on. Very nice. Ooh, gold even looks good on it. The platinum in this game is really disappointing though. But Damascus on here, it is more of the kind of blue pattern, which I don't like too much. I like it more when it says glossy red and blue, but that's okay. It still has good coverage. It's all over everything. We also have the nuts on there. I couldn't do it without the nuts. And while we're in the gunsmith, really quick, I wanted to show that the reticle button brings you back to the main menu for some reason. You cannot change your reticle at all. And because I know somebody's going to say something like, oh, you have iron sights on it. I actually have a GI mini reflex on here. So if I went to go change the reticle for it, back to the main menu, I go. But that's got nothing to do with the gun. Overall, I thought this was a good grind. This gun is actually really good, a lot better than I was expecting it to be. I figured after all these months of waiting for it to come out, it was just going to be like subpar, but it's pretty, it's pretty good. Uh, first few games, I played core with it. It did great. And then I was running behind on my long shot kills. And by time I ended up unlocking this drum mag, I got to the kills with no attachments, which is a really dick move, by the way. Them putting it right there around the time where you max out the weapon, where you have to take all your attachments off after you find a nice build for it is a dick move. But I ended up playing a lot of hardcore to get the long shots, get the kills without attachments. You know, the camos that I was stuck on the most were the long shots and crouching kills. I feel like I just don't crouch enough, but it wasn't too difficult. I got I actually got it done pretty fast. So very good gun, very good grind. Now let's hop into a game with it. All right, and this is what the CX-9 looks like in game with Damascus, with the nice shoot house lighting, absolutely perfect lighting. Best lighting on any COD map, honestly. But I think the gun looks great. Damascus just has has that glimmer to it in this game that I, I really like. But enough of just looking at it, let's see how it works. It's still very fast time to kill. I'm not as fast as that shotgun. And uh, I'll go ahead and uh, right now I'll put up my build for it. This is my final build. I think I could go without the optic. I usually didn't run optic in this game, but it helps for the, the longer range shots. Ooh, nice little double kill there. Yeah, it just helps me keep focused a little bit better. But if I was playing hardcore, I'd probably take the optic off and switch it out for like maybe sleight of hand or something like that. Anything to speed up either me aiming or me reloading. But if you're looking for a fun SMG to use, this is definitely a good one. I had no issues getting this thing leveled up, getting camos for it. The entire time, it felt like I was just dominating with attachments or none. This is a way better gun than I was expecting it to be. Even hip firing there, no laser there. I have no grip to help hip fire. That was all natural hip fire. Oh, it even won that gunfight all across mid. I thought I was really going to die there. Maybe he just missed a shot or something, but it does have the range. All right, let's try to capture the HQ this time. Let's, let's be a bit of a team player here. And that's what I get for trying to play with the team. Oh, we got our first little target over here. Come here. Go on. Oh, he's got a friend. Sleep. Oh, behind me while I'm damaged. Still getting kills. Throw the personal radar. Oh my god. Where'd he go? Okay, he ran through mid. I'm safe for now. <laughs> now I'm dead. All right, let's see if we can actually take over this hard point and stay alive and defend it the entire time. I almost died even trying to get to it. I said in my first game, I was a little concerned about the ammo and not having enough of it, but the whole time I didn't even have scavenger on, I feel like I still don't have it on. I forgot to do that. But the the starting mag still is very small. How, how did he get me there? How did he know? Huh, okay. As I was saying, the starting mag is really small. The second mag isn't too much bigger. I can't remember how much ammo it had in it, but there is a drum mag. I felt like I did see it in Warzone and I, I think that's where I initially saw it. So I was happy that there was something with a lot more ammo in it than 30. I think a 50 round mag is perfect for this thing anymore and it would be a little OP. I think 50 is just right on the money for a fully built weapon, something that you can use in Warzone, something that you can streak with in multiplayer. I mean, you might be able to, I can't. Is it the best SMG in the game? I'm not sure. I feel like I'm too detached from this game's meta to even know what the best SMG would be. I think maybe the MP5, MP7, something like that. I think it can compete for sure. And that's what you want out of a new weapon. You want it to be able to compete, you know, be able to be used in place of these higher tier weapons. And it definitely does that. But it always seems like in these games where we're showing off the final camo that we do the worst. So I, I apologize for always getting messed up in these last games, but but I'm sure the clips I have of me unlocking camos for this. I, I had some pretty good spray downs, uh, a few multi kills. Like this gun, when it gets going, it gets going. Definitely a hardcore demon, but what gun isn't? And it has a fast time to kill in core. It's like made to get quick little kills. Like the whole double kills challenge went by faster than I think any of the other challenges, just because it was so easy to spray people down with this. 
There we go. Nice little double. Ooh. Oh, and another feed. Let's go. All right, peek me. Thank you. Oh, he stuck me with a thermite. Definitely could have kept that one going. Ooh, let's go. Quick win. All right, so 57 kills with it. I don't know how many deaths. I, I'm sure it'll show me in a second. But overall, not a bad weapon. Uh, we actually didn't do too terrible with it in our last game. Oh, 57 and 48. So not a crazy KD, but it still, it can get the work in and get the kills in. The, the deaths are more reflective on me. But we did go ahead and get the CX-9 Dark Matter. So if you like this video, you want to see more, leave a like on it. You didn't, you don't dislike. If you're new here, please consider subscribing. We put all kinds of COD content throughout the week. But that's going to be it for me today. I'll see you guys next time. Later.